praise the lord hallelujah blessed be the mighty name of our lord jesus christ in this wonderful and blessed morning dear children of god let us together on the year of 2021 on this june 18th friday morning to worship our god to praise our god our heavenly father for every wonderful opportunity with thankfulness from our heart let us worship and praise him let us thank him hallelujah let us all open our mouth and thank him hallelujah thank you jesus thank you thank you father thank you thank you lord thank you hallelujah thank you thank you thank you thank you father I am alive because of your grace. I am in good health because of your grace. Hallelujah. I am joyful today because of your grace. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for protecting us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The last full morning for protecting us for your love for your mercy for your compassion thank you father thank you lift your hands and give him the glory last night for the good sleep you gave us father thank you thank you with good health and happiness for waking us up this morning father thank you thank you thank you and for this morning thank you lord even this morning wonderfully for leading us for your tender mercies and kindness thank you thank you thank you the psalmist is saying in psalms 42 as the deer pants for the water brooks so pants my soul for you o god my soul thirsts for god for the living god when shall i come and appear before god hallelujah amen 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 verse number 4 when i remember these things i pour out my soul within me for i used to go with the multitude i went with them to the house of god with the voice of joy and praise with the multitude and that kept a pilgrim feast why are you cast down o my soul why are you disquieted within me hope in god for i shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance this morning again praise the lord without being sad without being disturbed without being fearful without being disquieted with happiness remember my god will deliver me my god will take my situation from god is on my side whom shall i fear so with joy with faith lift his name on high and you will see miraculous blessing happening in your life let us pray together dear heavenly father for this wonderful blessed morning thank you on this friday morning together to worship my god to praise my god heavenly father for this wonderful time thank you last full morning for protecting us thank you last night for giving us a good sleep thank you for waking us up this morning thank you and this morning for victoriously leading us for your grace we thank you we worship you we praise you we honor your holy name hallelujah father this morning we thank you father bless all those who are hearing this voice today father we give all the sick unto thy hands in the authority in the name of jesus let your children be healed Hallelujah Father all those who are hearing this voice today let them be blessed let their family be blessed let their workplace be blessed let their children be blessed in their personal needs Father this Friday morning let your hand perform Hallelujah Father in the midst of the red sea like how your hand performed this morning in the name of Jesus for your children thank you for your hand that is performing Hallelujah especially let the sick be healed Father those who are suffering from hemorrhoid this morning lord jesus miraculous healing not by doctor not by operation but by the name of jesus miraculous healing father thank you for it is prevailing over them every sickness pertaining to the intestine let them be healed every disease related to the pancreas be healed kidney let it be healed heart let it be healed every allergy we command you in the body leave and go we command asthma leave the body and go in the name of jesus every lung disease be healed this morning hallelujah thank you father thank you for the allergies that are being healed hallelujah every pain in the left shoulder be healed in the name of jesus father this morning we pray for all those who don't have work open ways those who are in debt deliver them those who don't have peace and happiness father deliver them father this morning for 
all your works. We tell you thank you. Father, especially we give the worship in Middle East. Father, let it be glorious and blessed and be a reason for your kingdom to grow. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let the Lord bless you all abundantly this morning. Let the grace, the peace, the happiness of the Lord increase and multiply in your life in abundance. I pray. Hallelujah. Today morning, the Holy Spirit, what is He going to talk to us? Let us move forward further. Second Timothy 1 verse 7. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Hallelujah. What a beautiful word of God. Here the Holy Spirit very strongly is telling to us. The spirit that is inside of us. The moment we were born again inside every child of God is the spirit of God. And it is talking about that spirit saying God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of sound mind. Hallelujah. So that which is inside of us is not a spirit that gives us fear, but that spirit that gives us strength. For a child of God, when we are born again, we are in Christ. When a person is in Christ, he is a new creation. Christ is your secret place. You abide in me and I will abide in you. So when we are born again, we are abiding in Christ. We are abiding in Jesus Christ. So what is it saying over here? When we are in that manner, we are in the sitting, in the secret place of our God. No evil power, no sickness, nothing can touch you. And in that God's plan, we are we are in his secret place. That is where God has hidden you and me. Lift your hand and give God the glory so we don't have to be afraid. Fear comes in many manner. Fear of man, fear of future, fear of finance, fear of surroundings, fear of enemy. In this manner, many kind of fear is there. But to a child of God, he is saying, the spirit that is given inside of you is not a spirit of fear, but of power and of sound mind. That is why in the word of God, in many areas, our Heavenly Father reminds us, do not be afraid, fear not, for I am with you. Fear is exactly the opposite of faith. Exactly opposite of faith is fear. Fear is not of God. Faith, what is faith? Believing, trusting, hoping in God, believing in Him is called faith. But what is fear? Exactly the opposite. We are believing in Satan and his works which causes fear. Or in another manner, if we don't have faith, we will have fear. For those who don't have faith, they have fear. Say that again, for those who don't have faith, they have fear. Fear is is for those who are children of the Satan or of the enemy or of the evil. But faith is of God, is for children of God. Fear is from darkness, but our God is light. He is not a God who gives you fear. He is a God who gives you confidence and strength. That is why in Romans 8, verse 14 and 15 says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. Hallelujah! Our thoughts, our mind, our actions are controlled and led by the Spirit of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear. But you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father, I am the son, I am the daughter of my heavenly father. I am adapted, I am adopted through Jesus Christ and I, am, I have got inheritance of the heavenly kingdom. Hallelujah. My Jesus Christ is my brother, my, sis, my sister, my friend, everything. We are co-workers, joined heads with Christ. So we don't have to be afraid of Satan. No manner can he destroy our life. No manner can he destroy our blessing, nor our going forward. Believe this. Hallelujah. 
in Psalms 12, 121, 7 says, The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. Say loudly, No harm shall come upon me. He will preserve my soul. Till when our God needs you, till when the kingdom of God has to be done through us, till then to preserve our soul, our God is the faithful. Satan might say, you will be destroyed, your children will be destroyed. He might say, this will come, that will come. He will try to make you afraid. But say, no, I am in Christ. I am sitting in the hidden place of my Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I, no terror will come by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. I will not be afraid. Thousand may fall at my right side, ten thousand at my left, but it will not affect me. Fear is a trick of God. For those who are afraid, Satan can use them, but God cannot use them. Hallelujah. So when we are afraid, we become, we become terrified. We cannot concentrate on anything. We cannot work properly. We cannot do the work of God. We cannot pray properly. What happens to us? We become weak. That is a trick of Satan. So that is why this morning the Lord is saying, don't be afraid. Don't see anything and be afraid. Don't hear anything and be afraid. Don't see anyone and be afraid. For Jesus Christ is with you till the end of the world. Whatever crisis you go through, Jesus is with you at any time. Jesus is with you at any moment. Every moment, Jesus is with you. So you don't have to be afraid. The spirit that is given to us is a spirit of boldness. So with faith, confidence and hope and trust to move forward, the Holy Spirit is reminding us this morning. So remember, fear is from the enemy. Fear is exactly the opposite of faith. So don't the moment fear tries to come inside of you, say, hey, this is not for you to enter out from my life. In the name of Jesus, rebuke it and drive it away. Every power of fear in the name of Jesus, out from the body of the children. Every fear in the life of the children of God, out, we command you. Hallelujah. Every fear of darkness, fear of sickness, anything, whatever kind of fear it is, fear of death, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke it. Thank you, Father, for your work that is done in the life of your children. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Lift your hand and say, in the name of Jesus, we will grow, we will increase, and we will multiply. We are blessed, we are really blessed, and we are permanently blessed. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you today. Hallelujah.